Kukuono kibakia katika nyumba mungu I'm happy to see you remain in the house of God Ninafraha kukuono kibakia katika nyumba mungu It's a joyful Nifraha In our journey Katika safari yetu To be in the house of God Ya kuwa katika nyumba mungu As you know Kama na ufamu Jesus Yesu Is our strength Ndiyo nguvu yetu Everything we need Kila tunacho itaji is inside Jesus. Kiko ndani ya Yesu. Yes, for sure there are a lot of things. Ndio, kwa hakika kuna vitu vingi. Devil is raising to make sure he chases us out of God's way. Ambavyo shetani anabinua kutuhakishia kwamba tunatoka katika njia ya Mungu. But we should not give up. Lakini tunatakiwa tusikate tamaa. Because to give up kwa sababu kukata tamaa is not the character sio tabia of the genuine Christian. Ya Mkristo halisi. If you're a genuine Christian, kama wewe ni mkristo harisi, there is no way you can give up. Hakuna namna unaweza kukata tamaa. You know, devil is using a lot of words. Unajua shetani anatumia maneno mengi to attack your spiritual life. Ya kushambulia maisha yako ya kiroho. It takes you inakuchukua wewe to be deep in Christ. Kuwa ndani zaidi katika Kristo. So that ili kwamba you can be very strong. Ufanike kwa imara Oh you can remain strong Ama ukabakia kwa imara Praise God, hallelujah Mungu wa sifu, hallelujah So you can have your wonderful seat Koneza kukaa kwenye kitu chako cha jau I have a very short message for you Nina ujumbe mfupi sana kwa jiri yako Because I know the purpose you to come in the church Kwa sabu na famu kusudi lako wewe kuwa kuja kanisani Is to hear God's message Ni kusikia ujumbe wa mungu What God said Nini ambacho Mungu anasema? What God wants. Nini Mungu anataka? And this message na ujumbe huu we open the doors of your blessing. Utafungua milango ya baraka zako and uh, your relationship with Jesus Christ. Na mahusiano yako na Yesu Kristo. If you value Jesus, ukimthamini Yesu, he will value. Na yeye atakuthamini. If you value his work, ukithamini kazi yake, even if he value a problem, hata yeye atalipa thamani tatizo lako. I mean, na maanisha, he be very serious to solve your problem. Atamaanisha kulitatua tatizo lako. It depend how much you value Jesus and how much you value his work. Inategemea ni kwa kiasi gani unamthamini Yesu na kuithamini kazi yake. You become a child of God. Umefanyika kuwa mtoto wa Mungu. Because of accepting Jesus to be a Lord and Savior. Kwa sababu ya kumkubali Yesu kwa Bwana na mwokozi wako. And he accept you. Na yeye pia amekukubali wewe. Because of your believing. Kwa sababu ya wewe kumwamini yeye. Because of you to believe in him. Kwa sababu yako kumwamini Yesu. So how many people there home you convince them to accept Jesus? Ni watu wangapi huko nyumbani umewashawishi kumkubali Yesu? How many people? Watu wangapi? Because I know kwa sababu nafahamu all of you wote you are a child of God. Wote ni watoto wa Mungu. You are a messenger of God. Ni wajumbe wa Mungu. How many people there are home? Ni watu wangapi wako nyumbani? How many people you meeting them per week? Ni watu wangapi ambao umekutana nao kwa wiki? Are you telling them about Jesus? Je, unawaambia kwa habari ya Yesu? Are you convincing them to accept Jesus? Je, unawashawishi kwa habari ya kumkubali Yesu? Are you testifying to them the that Jesus the, all the good things that the Lord has done for you? Je, unawashuhudia kwa mambo mazuri ambayo Yesu amekufanyia? Or you refuse to Tell them so you keep enjoying yourself. Ama unakata kuambia kwa uwe mwenye unendela kufraia. Remember heaven is for everyone. Kumbuka mbinguni hautenda pekiyako. It's for everyone. 
mbingu ni kwa kila mbingu ni kwa kila moja for those who believe in Christ kwa wale wanaoamini katika Kristo how many people you meet them per week ni watu wangapi mkutana nao kwa wiki you may be a student you may be in university there unaweza kuwa mwanafunzi uko kule chuoni how many people watu wangapi you tell them ambao umewaambia about the goodness of Jesus Christ kwa baada ya uzuri wa Yesu Kristo how many people you convince them watu wangapi mwashawishi to accept Jesus kumkubali Yesu to be the lord and savior kwa bwana na mwokozi wao Oh you are busy enjoying because you are, you are doing business with them so uh, if you can tell them about Jesus because uh, them they are muslim so you will refuse them you will uh, reject them ama unajishuhisha tu na mambo yako na wengine kwa kuwa ni waislamu utawaacha you, 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 you fear you are afraid say if i tell them about Jesus unaogopa so, kwamba nikiwaambia kwa habari ya Yesu they cannot accept it hawezi kukubali so they will refuse they will never give me my deal my tender hawezi hawezi kunipa ile ile, ile kazi matenda praise god hallelujah If Jesus is good, kama Yesu ni mzuri, you, you must tell people. Lazima uambie watu. You must tell your brother and sister and some business partner. Lazima muambie kakaako na dadako na wengine ambao mnashirikiana kwenye mnashirikiana kwenye biashara. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm okay. How is everything? Yes. Okay, we have a meeting. Yes, we have a meeting. Okay, fine, fine. You know, I have something to tell you. Unajua nina kitu cha kukuambia rafiki yangu? No, today I was praying. Hapana, leo niko na naomba. I was praying, I was praying. I just Your name start coming to me. Nilikuwa naomba na jina yako likaanza kujitokeza. So I feel to tell you. Kwa nasikia kukuambia. Jesus he loves you. Yesu anakupenda. Jesus loves you so. Yesu anakupenda sana. Just think twice. Jaribu kufikiri mara mbili. You know you have a best destiny. I say best future. Unajua una hatima bora na hiyo hatima bora. If you accept Jesus. Kama ukimkubali Yesu. You give just your life. Kama utampa Yesu maisha yako. Sure I'm telling you. Hakika na kuambia. You are going higher. Unaenda juu zaidi. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Praise God hallelujah. Just tell your friend or your neighbor there. Unawaambia rafiki zako na majirani yako. Don't matter even if it's your boss. Haijalishi hata kama ni mkuu wako. That's why Paul he says. Ndio maana Paulo amesema. You are gripa. We I agripa. wish even you to be born again today. Natamani hata wewe uzaliwe mara pili leo. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. You know to fear. Hakuogopa. Why? Kwa nini? Because he know the joy of the Christ Jesus. Kwa sababu alijua furaha ya kuwa ndani ya Yesu. He know the beauty. Alijua uzuri of Christ Jesus is the man. Wa Yesu Kristo akiwa ndani ya mtu. But some of you you in the church. Lakini baadhi yenu mko kanisani. When you are out there. Unapokuwa huko nje. You are like you are not born again. Ni kama vile haujazaliwa mara pili. You are like you're not a believer. Ni kama vile sio muamini. It's like you're not a Christian. Ni kama wewe sio mkristo. If you are out there. Ukiwa huko nje. It's like you're not a Christian. Ni kama wewe sio mkristo. This is the biggest problem. Hili ni tatizo kubwa. Remember. Kumbuka. If someone or your friend not accept Jesus, kama mtu ama rafiki yako hajamkubali Yesu, surely is living in the darkness. Hakika anaishi gizani. Are you enjoying to take his money? Je, unafurahia kuchukua fedha zake? And leaving him to die in the darkness. Na kumwacha aende kufa gizani? How many people? Ni watu wangapi? They around you. Ambao umekuzunguka. You are telling them about Jesus. Ukiwaambia kwa habari ya Yesu. Be a good child of God. Uwe mtoto wa mzuri wa Mungu. How many people in the university there? Watu wangapi huko chuoni? You are telling them about Jesus. Unawaambia kwa habari ya Yesu. You if you in the church, kama uko kanisani, you are born again. Umezaliwa mara pili. If you go in class, ukienda darasani, you're not born again, you're a student. Wewe haujazaliwa mara pili, ni mwanafunzi tu. Be born again everywhere. Uwe umeokoka kila mahali. Be born again everywhere. Onekana umeokoka kila mahali. Everywhere you go. Kila mahali ukienda. Be a Christian everywhere you go. Uwe Mkristo kila mahali ukienda. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. Yes. Ndio. Make sure even if in the office. Hakikisha hata kama uko ofisini. Make sure everyone there. Hakikisha kila mmoja pale. He get the good news of Jesus Christ. Anapata habari njema ya Yesu Kristo. Even if hata kama is very hard to talk to them. Ni ngumu sana kuongea nao. Do, do the thing very simple. Fanya kitu na rahisi sana. Take your paper chukua karatasi yako na andika my friend rafiki yangu i love you so much nakupenda sana I, I, i really want you ninakutaka to accept jesus kumkubali yesu to be your lord and savior kwa bwana na mkozi wako if you accept him ukimkubali yeye be your lord and savior kwa bwana na mkozi wako will see a joy in your life utaona furaha katika maisha yako you have this you, you prepare all the paper the, unaandaa hizo karatasi it's like it's just a little card it's a small thing kitu kidogo tu karatasi dogo tu hivi you put in your in your in your in your in your 
handbag. Unaweka kwenye begi yako ya mkononi. Unaweza kuona vita 10500 si ndivyo vimekaa ndani. Hey, good morning, good morning. How are you? Are you okay? So, okay, fine. Okay, okay, fine. I have a message for you. Okay, fine. Najumbe kwa jili yako. Okay, 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 okay. Endelea, endelea, endelea. So. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Even if it's like, uh, okay, okay, I love you. I have the message. I have the gift for you. Take this message, gift. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? You, you listen to me. Nisikilize. It may look the small way. Inaweza kuonekana neno dogo. But to others. Lakini kwa wengine. Can help them. Inaweza kuwasaidia. Kwa sababu lazima atakuwa na show kwamba hebu ngoja nikifungue kitu gani mbona leo umenipa huyu hichi zawadi hichi mbona leo Grace kanipa zawadi hii jamani eh are you hearing me yeah, mbona kanipa gra- zawadi hii kaniachi eh hebu ngoja nisome unaweza kukiandaa hata kwa mfumo wa kadi kadi kidogo tu kidogo sana ukampelekea mtu tap ukampa ofisi anaposoma wow wow anafikiria you know message yoyote ukishaisoma tu itakupa meditation Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. That's in those days. Ndio maana katika siku za nyuma when we were in the class. Tulipokuwa darasani. If you love someone, ukimpenda mtu, unaandika kibarua kidogo kimessage unakikunja. Uwezi kumwendea kuanza kumapproach uwezi. Njia pekee ni ya message. Una kimessage chako. For sure among all the women in this class. Hakika kati kati ya wanawake wote so katika darasa nakupenda so sana. Nimefanyika nimekuwa hata kichaa. If I look at you, nikikuangalia, I get confused. Ninachanganyikiwa. If you accept me, ukinikubali. Wow, wow, wow. Mungu wangu, Mungu wangu. Akifungua ile message mpa anaanza eh, in the class among all the women. Darasa ni kati kati ya wanawake wote wanawake. Just me. Mimi tu. Ile neno linakwenda kuring kwenye moyo wake. Praise God hallelujah. Ko anakuwa na yuko darasani anaelewa kuna mtu pale anaitwa Isaya ananipenda. Are we together? Tukapamoja. nyumbani akitoa kiingia ndani anajua kuna mtu mle ndani darasani yani. Ana yani amechanganyikiwa na mimi. That's a little message. Ujumbe mdogo tu. A little message. Ujumbe mdogo tu. Ko utakuta baadaye anaanza kupitia mavazi. Anaanza kuvaa smart zaidi kuliko mwanzo. Message yako aliyompa wewe. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. Tokea hapo anaanza baadaye kama ndo amekaa mbele namna hivi kwenye kwenye mbele kabisa mbele ya darasa kabisa wao huko nyuma akikidogo tu mara Hapo ujeongea. It just a message. Ni ujumbe tu. <laughs> Praise God hallelujah. It just a message. Ni ujumbe tu. Nini kinamuita ile message uliyoandika? Praise God hallelujah. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So there's some things we can do. Kwa kuna vitu tunaweza kufanya. To help others. Kuwasaidia wengine. To help others. Kuwasaidia wengine. But most of us are the Christian. Lakini tulio wengi kama wakristo after there baada huko we are like we are like a non-believer. Tukiwa huko tunakaa kama sio waamini meaning your christian life manake maisha yako ya ukristo is for yourself ni kwa ajili yako mwenyewe don't want to give another one hautaki kumpa hata mtu mwingine yes ndio accepting jesus is being under the grace kumkubali yesu ni manake ni kuwa chini ya neema share shirikishana grace with others gawana hiyo neema na wengine praise god hallelujah Mungu asifiwe haleluya. I give you a very simple very simple example. Ninakupa mfano rahisi sana. Very simple. Mfano rahisi. Asa kufikia tu baba kama kuna kuna jamaa alimekaa labda ni levi levi tu afa kuna baba ujamaa eh afa kuna binti binti wa Yesu ulipokuwa mzuri kiasi hicho unampelekea karatasi asubuhi mapema. Kanga kanga kadi alafu ipo kwenye mfumo wa kadi. Afa kwa kujibasha hivi. Haitaondo We really need to live kind of a life. Tunahitaji kuishi maisha kama hayo. But most of Christian there. Lakini wakristo walio wengi huko. Outside. Huko nje. We are not a believer. Ni kama sio waamini kabisa. We are not a believer. Kama sio waamini vile. But if you are in the church. Lakini ukiwa kanisani. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate. Unamshirikia Yesu. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate. Celebrate. 
praise God hallelujah you know a lot of them you sing you dance unache una unaimba na kucheza but when you go outside lakini ukitoka huko nje non believer mtu asiamini kabisa until sunday service mpaka ibada jumapili he become again ndio anafanyika tena christian kwa mkristo share good news of jesus habari njema la yesu kristo everyone wherever you go na kila mtu kokoto kienda you student you are here ninyi wanafunzi mko hapa you have many people in the class na watu wengi uko darasani prepare something andaa kitu fulani something just a little message ujumbe mdogo tu in your paper kwenye karatasi yako give them wape hizo karatasi they must know you are a christian you are there inside lazima wafahamu kwamba wewe ni mkristo huko you are there in christ mtoto wa mungu huko ndani pale darasani praise god hallelujah mungu asifiwe hallelujah ha, ha, we finish here kwa nini tunajisikia aibu that's why we don't succeed ndio maana hatufanikiwi because we, we feel shame to to open our good news to others kwa sababu tunajisikia aibu kufungua habari njema kwa watu wengine ndio maana hata baraka tusipokee sema mkinionea aibu kwa watu na mimi ndaonea aibu kwa nini kwa baba mkinikataa kwa ba, kwa watu nanyifanyaje kama siwajui kwa binti mko chuo kuna watu wengi wajiokoka lakini uko pale kama sio mkristo be a preacher everywhere you go uwe mhubiri kila mahali ukienda be a preacher uwe mhubiri everywhere you go kokoto kienda you are a child of god wewe ni mtoto wa mungu why you feel shame kwa nini unajisikia aibu you have many people they are, they are around you kuna watu wengi wanakuzunguka tell them the truth waambie habari ya kweli about the goodness of jesus habari ya uzuri wa yesu tell them waambie don't feel shy usijisikie aibu that's why most of people ndio maana watu walio wengi we don't see hatuoni blessing hatuoni baraka because we are not openly to others kwa sababu hatuko wawazi kwa wengine some of you baadhi yenu even your neighbor they don't know if you are a christian hata majirani zako hawajui kama wewe ni mkristo they don't know if you are a christian hawafahamu kama wewe ni mkristo even your neighbor there hata majirani zako kule hawafahamu kama wewe ni mkristo the way you are jinsi ulivyo because even you don't share with your neighbor a gift of Jesus Christ kwa sababu haugawani na jirani yako hata ile zawadi ya Yesu Kristo you don't share with your neighbor brochure haugawani na majirani yako kwa habari ya vile vitini unavyopokea we are giving you free tunakupa bure if we give this one this one is a muslim no kusema nikimpa mtu huyu ni muislamu hapana how many muslim they are coming here waislamu wangapi wanakuja hapa they are coming here to celebrate Jesus wanakuja kumsherekea Yesu hapa Amen. Wapo wengi. Because Jesus is a friend of everyone. Kwa sababu Yesu ni rafiki wa kila mmoja. Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. Because Jesus Kwa sababu Yesu is a friend. Ni rafiki of everyone. Wa kila mtu. Believer and non-believer. Aliyemwamini na asiyemwamini. Why you feel tell your boss in the office? Kwa nini unaogopa kumwambia mkuu wako ofisini kwako? You are afraid he will chase you out. Unaogopa kwamba atakufukuza. Because your boss is above Jesus. Kwa sababu yule boss wako yuko juu ya Yesu. That's why you are afraid. Ndio maana unamwogopa. Your boss he must accept Jesus. Yule mkuu wako lazima mkubali Yesu. He must know you are there. Lazima afahamu kwamba uko pale. You are a child of God. Wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu. You are a Christian. Wewe ni Mkristo. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Your boss he, he must know. Mkuu wako lazima afahamu. Jesus Yesu is your master ndio kiongozi wako Praise God Hallelujah Mungu asifiwe Hallelujah But why are you afraid Lakini kwa nini unaogopa Nikimwambia huyu eh anifukuza kazi ni Muislamu kweli kweli huyu Lakini yeye anakuambia Asalamu alaykum eh ne 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 Vipi wewe wewe kende kuswali wewe hata umwambi tena kanisani umwambi Sasa baada yako na Jumapili
Praise God. Mungu asifariki. We should not feel shy. Lazima tusijisikie aibu. We should not feel shy. Tusijisikie aibu. To tell people about Jesus. Kuambia watu kwa habari ya Yesu. Praise God. Mungu asifariki. To tell people about Jesus. Kuambia watu kwa habari ya Yesu. Ask yourself. Jiulize mwenyewe. How many people you tell them to accept Jesus? Ni watu wangapi umewaambia kwa habari ya kumkubali Yesu? Do you think the work is of prophet only? Je, unafikiri kazi ya kumhubiri Yesu ni ya nabii peke yake? To tell people, kuambia watu to accept Jesus. Kumkubali Yesu is our work. Hiyo ni kazi yetu. Is our work. Ni kazi yetu. Wherever we go is our work. Kokota tukienda hiyo ni kazi yetu. Is our work to tell them. Ni kazi yetu kuambia to give them message. Kuapa ujumbe. One day, siku moja, unaweza kudaiwa wa watu. Unafanyaje? Kudaiwa. Ulikaa nao, ulikula nao, lakini haukuambia kwa habari ya Kristo. Kwa nao kusema, siku anakufa anasema sisi binafsi hatujui maana wokovu, wokovu Yesu Kristo. Sema nao mlikuwa mtu wangu pale fulani, kaambia je, kutuambia sisi? When I call back, I would go to Mecca. I'm not enjoying. I'm not cool. I'm taking you. Don't tell them about Jesus. But they have to be aware of the fact Jesus. Why? Because they are not believers. Why? Because they are not believers. No, you must tell them you are saved. You must tell them you will help them. Lazima wambie utawasaidia. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu asifu Hallelujah. Atakama utakujibu baki na diniyako. Praise God, Hallelujah. By the way. Christianity life, maisha u Kristo, is not religious. So maisha dini. Praise God, Lord. Mungu aswa dudu. Christianity life, maisha u Kristo, is a free life. Ni maisha ya uhuru. Praise God, Lord. Mungu aswa dudu. Joyful life, maisha ya furaha. And a peaceful life. Na maisha ya amani. And the internal life. Na maisha umilele. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswa Hallelujah. Are we together? Life without struggling. Maisha bila kuteseka. It's a Christian life. How do maisha Christo? Forgiveness. Kusamehe. Mess. Rehema. Love. Upendo. Peace. Amani. Joy. Furaha. Everything good. Kila kito kizuri. Is inside Christianity life. Kikondani ya maisha u Christo. Why are you enjoying alone? Sasa kwa nini unafurahia peke yako? Why you enjoying enjoying alone? Kwa nini unafurahia peke yako? Praise God. Mungu asifiwe. Share with others. Gawana na wengine. The good news of Jesus Christ. Habari nzema za Yesu Kristo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Make sure. Hakikisha. You have twenty people. Una watu ishirini. Or ten people. Ama watu kumi. Behind you. Ambao wakonyuma yako. They accept Jesus through you. Ambao mukubali Yesu kupitia wewe. Listen to me. Nishikirize. Even if they cannot come in the church you are worshiping. Hata kama hawatakuja kwenye kanisa unaloabudu you finish your work wewe umemaliza kazi yako what christ need nini ambacho kristo anahitaji in them to accept jesus only ni wao kumpokea yesu peke yake other work kazi nyingine live for god mwachie mungu very important muhimu sana anapokuwa mtu kapatwa na jambo baya ndio unahubiri kweli kweli Namjua fulani. Eh, hey, kapana ile jambo baya. Unajua fulani? Kapana ile jambo baya. You are busy there. Unajishughulisha huko. Lakini je, mazuri yapi uliyomwambia? Huyo mtu aliyepatwa na jambo baya. Mazuri yapi uliyomwambia? Praise God hallelujah. Mungu asifiwe hallelujah. Are we together? 
because I know even if I can help you a million times if I cannot preach you tell about Jesus you will die in the desert and he is our work to preach the good news of Jesus to our fellow brother sister in our house praise God hallelujah are we together we should not feel shy but the more you display the goodies of Jesus, the more Jesus is supplying the goodies to him. Yesu anavochiri amambo mazuri kwako. But most of us, lakini tulio wengi, we think the work of this uh, preaching, tunafikiri kwamba kazi ya kubiri, is the work of the prophet only. Ni kazi ya manabi peke yao. No. Apana. Hiyo ni kazi yetu sote. Hata kama mimi ni kiongozi lakini hiyo ni kazi yetu sote. Kumbuka kitu kimoja. Yesu ni kiongozi wetu sote. Na mimi na wewe tuko hapa kwa ajili ya Yesu. Tumetoka maeneo tofauti tofauti. But we must make sure. Lakini lazima tuhakikishe we tell our neighbors tunawaambia majirani zetu the good news of jesus christ habari njema ya yesu kristo be a good ambassador uwe barozi mwema tell them about jesus waambie kwa habari ya yesu tell them about jesus waambie kwa habari ya yesu the beauty jesus yesu aliye mzuri the joyful jesus yesu aliye furaha the peaceful Jesus. Yesu wa amani. Praise God. Mungu asifiwe. Tell them. Waambie. If they will accept, kama watampokea, they will see his beauty. Wataona wema wake. You are a student you are here. Ni mwanafunzi uko hapa. You are going there in school there. Unaenda uko shuleni. There are many non-believers. Kuna wasioamini wengi. How many times you talk to them about Jesus? Mara ngapi umeongea nao kwa habari za Yesu? Don't say you are a believer. Useme wewe ni mwamini. Because if you are a believer, kwa sababu kama wewe ni mwamini, even if in the class there, hata kama kule darasani, they must know you are a believer. Lazima na wao wafahamu kwamba wewe ni mwamini. Some of you you are a believer in, in church. Lakini baadhi yenu ni waamini mkiwa kanisani. But where if you are in the class there? Lakini unapokuwa darasani huko? You are not a believer. Kama sio muamini kabisa. You cannot tell them you are born again. Hauwezi kuambia kwa habari kwamba wewe umeokoka. Why are you afraid? Kwa nini unaogopa? Maybe you have a different character there. Lazima una tabia tofauti huko. Because if you have a different character. Kwa sababu kama utakuwa na tabia tofauti, you are afraid. Utaogopa tu. If I tell them I'm a Christian, ye kama nikiwaambia mimi ni Mkristo, I have a boyfriend here. Tabia yangu nina nina rafiki mwenza hapa. They will doubt. Wataanza kuwa na mashaka. But in Sunday service, lakini kwenye ibada ya Jumapili, you are in Christ. Uko darasani. Be a believer everywhere. Uwe mwamini kokote ukienda. Be proud to be a Christian. Jisifie kuwa Mkristo. Be proud to be born again. Jisifie kuwa umezaliwa mara pili. Because if you are born again, kwa sababu kama umezaliwa mara pili, no man can come to approach you. Hakuna mwanaume atakuja kwako kukutongoza. Even if he came to approach you, hata kama atakuja kukutongoza, he know the answer you are going to answer. Anafahamu jibu ambalo utampatia. But you you are afraid. Lakini wewe unaogopa. Because you know. Kwa sababu unafahamu kama mwanaume atakuja kunitongoza na nikakubaliana naye ataanza kuwa na mashaka mahusiano yangu na Yesu be a true believer uwe mwamini aliye mkweli everywhere you go kokote unakoenda everywhere you stay 
Wokote unakoka. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswe Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswe Hallelujah. I want to see you changing. Nataka ni kuona ukibadilika. Telling people about Jesus Christ. Ukiwambia watu kwa bara Yesu Kristo. It is very good. Nzuri sana. Very good and joyful. Nzuri sana na yenye furaha. If your neighbor. Kama jirani yako. You will get the good news of Christ Jesus. Atapata bari njema Yesu Kristo. It's very good and a beauty. Njema sana na nzuri. If your neighbor. Kama jirani yako. He will get the good news. Atapata bari njema. Of Christ Jesus. Ya Yesu Kristo. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswe Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswe Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu aswe Hallelujah. You can clap again to Jesus. Unaweza kumpiga Yesu makofi.